G'day folks. Well, I promised you a little bit of footage from my old boss's workplace. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you too much because most of the tools and everything else is proprietary or secretive and a lot of the companies do not like it being shown on the wide web. But I thought you'd like a bit of a look at the, what is it, 550 ton Mick? Yeah, I think it's 550 ton Clamp Force Toshiba. That is the injector unit or barrel. Much bigger than the Battenfeld. Injection pressure. It's an impressive bit of kit. Do you know roughly how much it weighs? 27 tonnes. 27 tonnes, so that'd be about 60 something thousand pounds. Modernised style input controls though, not many mechanical valves or things like that. There's temperature control for the zones. Um, heater voltage indication. Oh, you can select between heaters to make sure they're working properly. Alarms and motor controls, two motors. Oh yeah. Looks pretty straightforward to set up. And then we got little units which are Oh, sorry, that's half at the back, isolated in the wall. Oh yeah, they're, they're temperature in. controls for the, the, for the tool, zones on the tool. Yep. So each zone has its own heating for uh, specific materials and that sort of thing. That's an example of material that's been purged out. So not only does it get heated in the barrel, but it also gets heated in certain parts, or the certain parts of the tool are kept at predetermined temperatures to um, allow the material to flow instead of shorting and creating missing, basically missing parts of the moulding. And that's the back of the die. I cannot show you the die, but it's a big machine. You sort of get an idea. You can see a bit of the tool shop at the end, but that's a very long machine. I'll see if I can get a view from the back. It's just there's stuff on the floor I can't show you either, so I'm being careful. In the back, that's behind the moving platen. You can see the main ram, sort of. That's all injection and travel stroke setting, mould close limits, speed settings for open and close. Yeah, low pressure clamp, slow speed open. Like that's delay in your rapid open. Opens very slowly to carefully remove the moulding from the tool, then sudden then at a predetermined point it'll rapid back. Um, ejector control. That'll be mould stop and clamp, I guess. Third one down. Third one down. Probably a mould protection. Oh, mould protection set. Low pressure clamp. Die open. Die opening, and that's your low speed before coming back that's fast. And but it's all controlled by a linear scale in behind Yeah, the there's no the no old fashioned sliders or anything like the old all ones. Back to that this tool's closed, so it'd be okay to see just what a big lump of iron these are. Well, actually, tool steel. I don't know what the price tag on something like this would be, but it is not cheap. Probably worth more than your house. Injector pins, return springs. Um, yeah, what can I say? Big stuff and heavy. This lifting bolt. Now this is the back of the machine. That's the main ram. It's got fluid into the input. It's a tank breather for the uh, hydraulic tank, which is in the base. Again, I said, you said Mick said it weighs 27 tons, so it's not the kind of thing I can just haul home. <laughs> Not that this one's going anywhere, I can't just buy one at auction like he did. It's about five grand, not bad. To get something like this for five grand is an absolute bargain. And again, you've got power outlets, I can't show you the tool that's in there, but you can see the end of the ram, and that's it. Just a straight single ram. It's the end of the tie bar, that's a nut, nut to retain and tension the tie bar that goes through this back platen or back ram support. Um, here's a safety guard, that's a water heater. Heats the water that circulates through the tool. You've got chill water from a cooling tower. Uh, there's compressed air and other stuff. Um, that's hydraulics for 
oh, hydraulics that go to the platen. Yeah, there's a motor, hydraulic pump, back platen. This is the fixed platen again. I've moved past the tool. Um, it's hydraulic valve blocks for control, main injection unit again, feed hopper on top. Material gets fed in through vacuum or um, just manually, bags. Is there another motor on here? No, that's the main pump motor. It's a Toshiba three phase, 415 volt, 87 amps, 50 horsepower. So it's 50 horsepower hydraulic pump. That is your yeah, main valve body. Main hydraulic hoses, look at that. <laughs> and there's an auxiliary pump as well. Well, that could be, yeah, probably it shares the load between pumps. Main injection unit again. The central bits of screw. Yeah, that centre shaft spins, that's the screw that melts and feeds the material through. Uh, when we dismantle the one that I've got, you'll have a look and see what that looks like. Just a smaller version. And that's about all I can really show you. Pretty good. Fairly heavy. Not the kind of thing you'd fit in your back, back uh, garage. Of course, 